Peace everyone, Unmask Art here, and today I'm very excited to share a collaboration that I have done with the fellow YouTube artist Aristina of Hit Art. I'll have a link to her channel at the end of this video, so be sure to go over there and show her your support. Anyways, so this collaboration idea that we kind of worked out together is a combination of two pictures, and the kind of unofficial title I'm giving it is Coffee with Friends. Originally I was going to call it Coffee with Strangers. I thought Coffee with Friends sounded more positive, so that's what I'm going to call it. And the basic idea of it is that we have two sides of a table and the measurements for the piece are very precise. I mapped it out in Photoshop and then I gave her the measurements and we measured it out exactly the same on both of our pieces of paper. And I have the right side of the table and she has the left side of the table and basically the idea is to create our own kind of coffee shop scene with our individual characters. And I really liked the idea of doing this because it is able to incorporate so much of our, our individual creativity. We didn't share what the other person had drawn until we were both finished. That way our ideas didn't influence one another. So basically what I did is kind of what I think of when I think of coffee shops, some kind of character looking down at his phone, not paying attention to the person that he's sitting across from. And aside from the table being an element that the pictures share, the window frame in the background is also something that both sides share. So when you put them together, they line up. And because it's just a half of a rectangle, you can kind of take it in any direction. You could make it a window, and in my case, I end up making it a painting. As you can see here, I finished the inking and I started coloring the background. And I did kind of an earth tone color and then I used uh, my markers to create bricks on the lower half. But I had so much fun doing this collaboration. I'm actually thinking of doing this collaboration with a few other artists. Yeah, so here you can see I started putting in the painting uh, that I made for the background. And it's just kind of like a a boring modern kind of art painting that I feel like is what I normally see in coffee shops. I don't know, I tried to think of the most stereotypical coffee shops that I've been in and I also added a little wooden plaque uh, to the side and some lights and the phrase on the plaque I made is do what you love and love what you do. Um, just something kind of cheesy and uh, stereotypical in, in, in my eyes as far as what goes on walls. And I decided to just make table plain black, um, similar to the frame, and just have like a modern appeal. Uh, I added a creamer cup, which I don't really know why I added the creamer cup. I just wanted something else on the table. And then the coffee cup is something that I feel like every coffee cup in the world looks like, um, though I, I'm probably mistaken. And then I colored his phone. I tried to make it kind of look like it was Facebook on his phone. And then, uh, yeah, I did his hair kind of a reddish color, although his hair changes at the end because I kind of made a mistake, but I think I was able to correct it a little bit. So once I started coloring his shirt, uh, I did it basically a bluish gray striped shirt, like a pinstripe shirt uh, that you'll see. I'll add the lines here and then uh, started doing the shading uh, on that. And I kind of used the same colors on his pants mistakenly as far as the as far as the colors of his shirt. And his pants started to look a little bit too much like his shirt, so I had to kind of play around with that. At this point, I've only used markers, and I do go back over top and use colored pencils on part of this drawing. So here I'm adding like the dark blue shadow of the pants, and it started to look okay, but then I went over it with the kind of grayish blue, 
and it looked too much like the shirt, so I have to go back and fix that later. But I started on the skin, and I accidentally grabbed the wrong marker, and I ended up coloring the back of his neck with the shadow color, and it just looked so bad, and I had to, I ended up having to color all of his skin with that color to make it look right, and I spent like an extra two hours just playing around with the skin tones with uh, colored pencils. It was so disappointing because I spent all this time coloring it and I just loved the way that it was looking and then I accidentally grabbed the wrong marker and messed up his skin. Fortunately though, I think that with the extra added time using the colored pencils, putting layers over layers and layers, uh, I was able to salvage the look of his skin uh, and what I did is I darkened up his hair a little bit in order to make his skin look brighter and I think it I think it worked really well however here is the final piece with hit arts side attached and it is so fun to think of how our two pictures come together in the different styles meet each other. The concept of her idea of a coffee shop and the similarities but the differences in our work. For instance, I used markers and colored pencils. She used watercolors, it appears, and we had very similar thought processes. If you notice, her character has kind of books, magazines on her lap that I could imagine she looking down and reading or something. And then we both have our cups and one other object on the table. And then we both decided to make the window slash painting frame into a painting. And the, the differences of the artwork that we chose to put in the painting, it's very similar to the scene that we set her her coffee shop is very classy looking and my from my perspective whereas mine is more modern and the paintings I feel like reflect that the paintings that we chose to put in our frames and then I thought it was really really interesting that we both put plaques wooden plaques on the wall almost in the same exact spot and neither one of us knew that we were adding plaques we drew those in individually. It was just really fun to see the final result of this and see the ideas that we came up with, the similarities and the differences and just the way that our styles contrasted each other. It was probably the most fun I've had with a collaboration, um, though I haven't done very many. The idea was just so fun to work with and I hope that in the future I can do this collaboration with a few other artists here on YouTube. So anyway, I hope that you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. And once again, be sure to head over to Hit Art's channel, show her your support, and um, let her know what you think of her piece. And I will see you all next time. Take care. Peace.